Welcome back. I hope you had a great Christmas and uh, celebrated however you normally celebrate. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today. And uh, I hope you like it. So uh, let's get to it. So today I'm doing uh, my tips for interacting with a person with a disability. So I have a disability myself. I was born with a disability, but I still come across people who um, really don't interact with people with disability in their daily lives or have ever. And um, so I just thought I'd share a little bit of wisdom here with you today and uh, let you know uh, some things that uh, you should consider um, if you ever well, when when you need to um, deal with people who are uh, differently abled than yourself. Tip number one, respect that everyone is different. So what I mean by that is uh, so I, my disability, my experiences are my own. Um, and if you treat someone else who has a similar disability to mine, um, it will be vastly different between the two of us. So just like you and people in your life, your experiences are vastly different. And um, so, yeah, just be aware that how you treat me may not be how you treat someone else or interact with them. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, ask first. So if you see someone who maybe they're in a wheelchair and you're like, oh, maybe I should help them, maybe. So don't just go over and start helping them straight away. Like you might actually be causing more of a hindrance than the actual help you're trying to provide. So simply ask the person first if they would like the, uh, the attention or the help that you are providing. Uh, simple as that. Um, if they do, like ask them how you can help. If they don't, just go on your merry way. Don't feel like you need to help them. If they have refused your help, that's okay. So uh, that's tip number two. Tip number three, use person first language. So when you're speaking about someone, um, just in conversation or whatever, like um, don't say disabled person. Say person with disability. Um, that I think that really humanizes the person more than you know um, disabled person. So yeah, that's tip number three. Tip number four: uh, listen, be patient. So um, some disabilities come in. Um, uh, well, disability in general come in uh, all, all different varieties. So some are communication disabilities and um, they may need some kind of aid to help them talk, whether that's a, um, a speaker device or a board to spell things out. Um, I think often people think, oh, this person doesn't have anything to say because they can't speak or get out their communication as quickly as you may with your friends. But um, often the case, um, these people are just as smart, just as capable as anyone else. And all you have to do is just be patient and and uh, just listen to what they, they need, they want to say. It may take a little bit longer, but they may have some uh, wisdom that you may uncover. So yeah, that's tip number four. Tip number five, uh, make sure you're being clear in your communication with the person with the disability. So for instance, I have a hearing disability as well. And um, I think for me, just personally, it's difficult to hear in groups. So I think it's always welcomed when um, people recognize that the background noise is not really great in whatever situation we might be. So 
um, get maybe a raid void or a um, some some way to um, just communicate a little bit more clearer with that person. And so um, just even the person facing me, just so I can see them and, yeah, it all helps. So that's tip number five. Tip number six. So this one, it also um, links into the ask first um, tip. So um, you know, you wouldn't want someone to come and like grab your shoulder or touch you for any reason without your permission. The same applies for people with disability. So you you try you you think oh, I need to help them, so I'll just try and help them, but. You're, you're invading their personal space when you go to grab onto their wheelchair or whatever mobility device they may have. So just be respectful of their personal space as well and um, just ask again. So that's tip number six. Tip number seven, uh, be aware of the environment you are um Inviting the people with disability too, so um, it, it can be hard, and this one isn't always going to be successfully completed. But um, if you're looking to, you know, just have lunch with somebody or invite them out somewhere, just be aware of the venue you're going to and its accessibility, and um, if it's accessible is what I mean to the person you are inviting. And um, by that I mean if I were to be invited somewhere, I would hope the person inviting me knows if it's flat ground or if there's stairs or if there are stairs, if there's the ability to navigate around those stairs to enter the venue. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. And that's tip number seven. Tip number eight. This has to do with uh, language usage. And there are certain words that, uh, you know, the old school words that used to describe disabled people with disabilities. I'm even, I should learn person centered language as well. Um, people with disability and the big R word, the big S word. Um, for me, I don't like the use of the M word, but, um, so yeah, just be respectful and aware of the language you're using. Um, to describe people around you, and that that's just common courtesy and respectful um, language usage. So, yep, tip number eight. Tip number nine. So, uh, again, this harkens back to accessibility, and, um, yeah, just be aware if you're planning an event and... Um, you know, you want to include everyone, just be aware of the environment that you're having the event in and make sure things are inclusive and people are being included in. Like, the worst thing in the world is to come to something that, you know, you can't be a part of. Um, example, you invite a group out to an escape room. Um, yeah, so escape rooms are really popular now. I love escape rooms, but there are certain ones that are only accessible to me. So um, my friends have to take into account uh, what's accessible for me. So, yeah, just when you're planning events and outings, uh, just be aware as well. And that harkens back to the uh, accessibility one that we talked about earlier. Tip number nine. Bonus tip. So at the end of the day, the best thing to do is to talk to the person with a disability and find out first because they are ultimately the ones who are going to know their best need and how to navigate things depending on whatever activities that you are planning or interactions. So, yeah, please take all of these tips and, you know, just think them over and, and yeah, at the end of the day, talk to the person that um, has the disability and, and you know, the best teacher is them. And um, your life will be richer for the interactions and 
the different perspective they have um, on life. So, yep. Thank you for staying with me today. And if you made it this far, type in the comments below. Hiya. And I know you watched it all the way to the end of the video. But until then, I'll see you next time. Mark out. Just a disclaimer on this video today. Um, these tips are my own experiences and doesn't represent in the wider community. So please take this based on my experiences and not um, think as a generalised opinion of uh, everything because that's not the case.